Hey, what's going on? Matthew Tam here from LearnJumaFast.com. In this review, I want to go over Easy Blog. If you're looking to create an awesome, awesome blog for your website, Easy Blog extension from Stack Ideas is a really, really great choice. So let's go over to Easy Blog. Now they've made so much improvement over the years. You know, I remember when this guy's first started. I'm not sure what year. Uh, but I've been using this stuff for years now and easy block is another great extension so you can definitely check it out and it has a lot a lot of great features so we're going to demo in just a second so let's just scroll down it shows you some of the features let's go back up to the top here it's a very clean interface they've added this right the, the blocks which wasn't available before but what the blocks is that allows you to drag and drop content on your page so you don't have to code anything and you can also embed things like videos, um, posts from Instagram and other platforms, which is another cool uh, features that wasn't available before. So if you have media, whether it's video, audio, images, file sharing, you can be able to incorporate that on there. So if you're creating, let's say, a blog post and you want people to download something, you can be able to use the file sharing here. And these are the extensions that you can upload and people can be able to get access to for your team or for your users and as, as responsive. So regardless of whatever device that someone is using, it's going to show very nice and very clean. Now this is really great because they have a feature here called quick post and with that is you can be able to post something quickly uh, and you can use your phone, your tablet or anything to be able to post on a very clean interface. And then you have some integration with, uh, with Google, Facebook, uh, you have reactions, so if you want to build a site uh, where people can be able to write and blog on there, okay, or contributors. Now, when I started, uh, I started using the website uh, eZine Articles, I believe. This was years back. And one of the great things, while that site was so popular back then, and I'm not sure if it is now um, as much, but you can be able to log into your dashboard and you can be able to create blogs. You can be able to create stuff and you post it. So this here have the same features where you can be able to log in. So if you want to build contributors for your website, EasyBlock allows you to do that. They can be able to create team blogs. You can give, use what's called the ACL, that is access control level. So you can give each person a certain level of permission. So even if um, they're not part of your company, but they just want to contribute, you can have them just to see certain things and be able to do certain things. And there's also a front end capability here. And then you have a lot of tools for the readers. They can subscribe, they can share, they can comment, you know, report. And if they find something there that uh, they need to share with you, they can do that. And you can also integrate it with MailChimp and Sendy, which is really great for you have push notification, which is another cool feature that they added to it. So it's really, really great. So let's take a look at EasyBlog here. So this is the demo site and we're just going to log in and once you log in you notice that you have categories you have tags you have authors you have teams you have archives and you have calendar and by the way you can customize this heading right here okay you can customize you can change that on the back end and uh so let's go back here now can, we'll check out the back end demo in just a moment but as you can see here it's very very clean i love the interface so you can let's click on this post. Uh, you can it shows you how long it can take to read based on the number of words. So you can scroll and you can subscribe to this post. You can report. You can also print it. You can also you know favorite this post. You scroll down. You can share. You have uh, you know reactions here. Happy. How does this make you feel? You have comment. People can be able to comment on there. So you have a quick post, you have new posts, you manage subscriptions. So your subscribers can be able to manage their subscriptions. Maybe they want to subscribe to a certain part. And you can even create this in a way that you can charge people to be able to become members. So if you want to build a platform where people can be able to become contributors and you want to charge them a fee for it, you can charge people a fee for being a creator. And sometimes if you have premium content that is high demand, you can also charge people a fee for viewing it. Uh, so let's just take a look at the back end of it here. So let's log in. Now, when you log in here, it shows you the components, the easy blog. And this is what the interface looks like. It's very clean and straight to the point. On the right section here, you have the post, the number of posts that they are. 
you have the pendant if there's any pendants you can be able to automatically accept new posts or you can wait to approve it so for those that want to be able to create a, a like a article port or something on news port you can you can definitely approve posts before you have the rss feed so people can be able to put a new website and it's going to link back to your website you have comments categories tags reactions you have your teams you have the author so i encourage you if nothing is just go to the demo and just kind of play around with it here they have a lot of different features and i'm actually working on a course for this because i have so many people asking me um, about blogging extensions so you have different themes that you can use these are all the current themes that are there right now you can you definitely try it out uh, see how that works you can set default you go back to the settings you go to the acl now the ACL is really, really great because as I mentioned before, all of these here, this is called the access control level. And in Joomla, if you want to give certain people permission on what they can see and what they can do, all of these here will let you do that. So if you want to create a certain group of contributors, let's say they live in a different country or a different state or a different place, and you don't want them to be able to get access to every single part of the site, you can do that. You can do the same thing to for your users. If you want your users to be able to get access to certain things, then they, you know you can do that as well. So at the bottom here, you click here and you can be able to create uh, a new post. You can create a new category. So just click create a new post. When you click create a new post, this is what you're going to get. You get a blank post, template for event, template for news, and template for videos. So if you want a blank canvas, you can go with this, but I'm just gonna click on the template for videos. And then once you do that now you can drag and drop your files here or you can click onto the insert the block and these are all the different things that you can be able to drag and put over on this section here so if i wanted to put like html right here, i can just click and just drag this on the block and right there i've put html if i wanted to edit i click on here then i can be able to come in and do the editing um, of this right at the bottom here and it shows you all the different uh blocks that you currently have on your site you can do post media you can do post you can do location cover uh, but the cool thing that i love is just this insert blocks because it gives you so much more to do you know you can be able to add a lot of different things if you want to embed something instagram your spotify these are all the things that you can be able to embed you know right on your website so it's a really powerful powerful extension you can also do what's called auto post uh, to Facebook, to LinkedIn, and to other social platforms. And what that means is, I'm going to just X out of this here. And what that means is that when you create a new content, instead of you having to manually go into those websites, let's go to all the posts in here. Uh, instead of you manually go to Facebook or Twitter, LinkedIn, you can just work on the settings here. And it's going to automatically post it based on the settings that you have. So this is really cool. So if you want to do something on Facebook, so you can integrate it, but you got to, you know, just go through some of the settings. You go to Twitter and then LinkedIn. So that's really awesome for those that maybe you want to you want to send out a post to your Facebook every week. So what you can do here is you create your post and you can get the settings and don't have to worry about posting on every other platform. So once again, you go to stackideas.com. Uh, to be able to download the easy block is really really great and if you're looking to build like a sharing website where people can post content uh, this is a great way to do it and you can also monetize you can incorporate like google adsense or any other ads uh, platform right with it